In this video, we're going to show you how to set up dry fire projection. You can either mount your um, simulator on a tripod. Now it's crucial for projection that the simulator is level and most importantly that it is um, parallel to your wall or your screen. Or you can place your simulator on a small table. Just make sure the table and the simulator are level and that the simulator is parallel to the screen or your wall. Dry fire projection works under extended desktop on Windows. So we need to set this up. Hold down the Windows key and the P key at the same time and this menu should pop up in the middle of the screen. Make sure that the extend option is selected. Your projector should now be showing a blank desktop. Now we can run dry fire and this dialog box should be displayed. Click OK to start configuring projection. If the dialog box isn't displayed then select projection options from the setup menu. Go straight to start calibration. First, we need to configure the size of the wall. In the first stage of calibration, the laser will move around the edge of the wall. Use the controls on the dialog box to make the laser actually trace around your wall. If the horizontal lines that the laser traces out are not horizontal, then it means the uh, simulator is not parallel to the wall. Fix this first. Just move the simulator gently until the lines are horizontal. When you're happy with these settings, click Next. In this phase, the laser traces around the edge of the screen. Just like in the previous phase, use the controls on the dialog to adjust the position of the laser so that it traces around the visible part of the window. When you're happy to move on, click Next. The next phase is just to nudge the laser using the controls on the dialog so that the laser dot is aligned with the dot on the projected window. The final phase requires the use of your gun. A series of crosshairs will be shown on the projected window. Shoot at each one in turn from point blank range. When you shoot the final crosshair, that's calibration done. The laser dot should now be aligned with the dot shown in the centre of the screen. You should now be ready to try dry fire with projection. Click OK on the projection options and then click Align to bring up the alignment instructions. One problem you might experience while using projection is that trap houses and traps appear too high against the projected background. The problem is actually that the projected horizon is too low. To fix this, open projection options and click on the browse button. Navigate to Program Files x86 Dry Fire V4 Images. Select one of the high horizon images shown and click open. and click OK on the Projection Options dialog. 
And now you're ready to practice shooting.